Here we go, everybody. This is the Shooters Only Paintball Podcast with your host, Jordan Hernandez, and my guest today, Chad Smith. Chad Smith Paintball. Chad Smith the Chad Smith Paintball. He is a guy that uh, has taken me from zero to 100 in my paintball IQ, someone I owe a lot of respect to in the paintball game. And he does some really fun and cool things out here at Hobble Creek, Utah. He's going to tell you all about that. And uh, first off, welcome to the show. Hey, well, welcome to your first podcast. This is number one, right? My very first podcast. Honored. Thank you. I don't know what I'm doing. So, Hey, dude, it is uh, it's paintball. There you nobody go. knows what they're doing. <laughs> there you go. In a year of nobody knowing what they're doing, this is the first time to try something. So. Yep. Yep. Exactly. And so, what to expect through these podcast series? Obviously, we're going to bring a guest on hopefully every week. Uh, today, we're confined to the car. And originally, I pictured this out onto the field somewhere with a really cool setting and backdrop. And uh, what we're about twenty five degrees with a lot of snow. Uh, I got my wish, and uh, snow paintball season has started officially. There you go. As it looks like it doesn't look like it's going away. Um, Lots of slips, lots of slides, but we are in the car today. The there we podcast. go. We are in the car. So that uh, that segues really well in my first question for you. What is Hobble Creek, and what can a new player kind of expect coming out here? Because I think this is a very, this is a gem of Utah paintball. And tell me about it, because I think you kind of lead the charge out here for the most part. Um, it is a, it's a local field. It is free to play, and that isn't unique. There's a lot of U, uh, free fields all over. Mm -hmm. Anywhere you go, you can play anywhere with your friends, but there's going to be a game here every week. It is going to be organized. There is going to be, we have such a good crew of people that show up every week that the vibe here is casual. Bring your friends, bring new people. Um, The guys that play a lot, we play with pumps or MagFed like today. Today was almost MagFed MagFed exclusive. There you go. Today. Um, But yeah, Hobble Creek just, it's, it's for everyone. That's what makes it a gem as you said right is it is for everybody right you can show up any gear any day and we will have a game there you go Um, so this is we are in springville utah right now yes hobble creek canyon um if we were to get here if someone was going to guide themselves out here it's relatively easy it's very accessible right yeah you uh follow the same road all the way from the freeway all the way to canyon road and it takes you right here Gotcha. Um, it's a less than a half a mile up the canyon itself so you just drive through town and you're here Nice. So my my journey for, through Hobble Creek has always been an hour south of uh, Salt Lake City, and it's not really even an hour. It feels I think it feels like forty minutes. A lot of highway, right? But when I first came out here, it was very different than some of the pickup games going on around here because, um, you know, the head rush paintball. Tell me, tell me the specific. I, I don't want to get this wrong. Tell me your team name because I think you guys are responsible for some of the objectives and how this game plays out here. Um, yeah, so my team is Head Rush. Um, Head Rush. We are Team Head Rush. Um, there's probably about 11 of us right now. Uh, six of us are active every week. Um, but we run the Hobble Creek Club. Up here at Hobble Creek, there's probably 20-ish teams that come. Nice. There could be one guy and a sniper. He comes all the time by itself. Then there could be 13 ex-speedball guys that show up dressed the same, come to play. We all play up here. It's uh, it's uh, Yeah, Hobble Creek's the club. Head Rush is my team. That's awesome. That's awesome. Point that mic a little bit towards... Yeah, Copy. You. Oh, <laughs> look. Now you're Boom. on the channel. <laughs> No, you're good. So I think so. Head Rush is so cool because you guys are a band of brothers that play religiously out here. And I, I always tell my guys when I come in here, we we have a small paintball team from Red Creek called the Rangers. But when Rangers, I tell them, Rangers, Rangers, don't Rangers, sleep on the Rangers. Don't sleep on them. Don't sleep on the Rangers. Don't sleep. On, we've got a lot of things in the mix, and paint, uh, playing paintball sometimes isn't the top of the list. But one thing we do is when we come down here, we know that the Hobble guys they know this field inside and out, and it's because you guys maintain and, and groom this field, right? Yes. Uh, uh, copy that. Um, I personally get here about two hours early, almost every Saturday, to do a little field cleanup because it's it's a it's a, I guess public field. I mean, there I don't go. own it. Anybody else could be here. Things could get tipped over. There's wind storms. Um, so bunker maintenance, and then um, switching up. We play every week, so there you go. Got to switch it up. Exactly. And you guys have three flags. We we're playing three flags today, and you guys were doing some specific attack and defend stuff for the magfed only genre. But you guys do that normally week to week. Week to week, yeah. So, um, I mean, after, you know, years and years of running this club, we've, uh, props are come and go, but the easiest thing to do is just get a couple flags and you mm-hmm. can throw games together. Any field, any time, you just have to have a little bit of direction on it. There you go. Um, we put one flag in the back corner of the field and we have a small op four protect it. And, uh, the larger force unlimited respawns keeps trying to get one of two of their flags to the enemy base. There you go. Um, makes for a really hard, hard game. And then, um, the 
people defending, got to like cross up and play defense, just like any speedball team would do. Live by your guns and cross up and watch your zones. And then the attackers are also learning leapfrog. And that's another thing is, is we got to get these guys playing. The level sure. of paintball is getting better, and it makes everybody else better. Yeah, that's awesome. I, I think the most competitive games that I've seen played um, from the outside looking in has always been at Hobble in terms of recreation, but also so catered to a recreational player that's not played it before and been able to just pick up a rental and come out and play. I think this is a great breeding ground for new players, and I think the atmosphere and some of that um, just vibe, like you were talking about earlier, really translates to some of those new players that hopefully come back and revisit right and come back and that's my goal uh that is the biggest thing is um because we've had games where it's just two on two up here yep. we've had games where i'm just up here maintaining the field and running drills by myself that's awesome but today in 25 degrees we are playing nine on nine um go. almost all mag fed i mean come on that's that's insane. We're, come dude. on, where we? This is December. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> where else are we having that? <laughs> a lot of people are taking this time off around the around the nation, saying, you know what? Yeah, yeah we're gonna load up in the spring. I'm gonna get my body right. Do whatever. Not here at Hobble Creek. We it's play every around. week. That's awesome. Uh, we're gonna have like we're gonna have a crew here every week. There is gonna be a game, and we do cater to the. If you're new and your gun doesn't work, I'm gonna throw you one of my personal guns. Yep. Some of our guys on our team, um, we want people to play. That's that's it. That's I mean, awesome. we got we still got guys showing up. We've already had four games. There you go. Yeah, this is a great. A great opportunity to get out and play in in some people don't even play in the snow which is mind-blowing so i'll give you a little tidbit um one of our paint sponsors the people we do a lot of paint with defy um shout out joseph mccardo he's my uh he's he's probably the guy running the show over there i thank hit, you for wake, making a winter ball there you go yeah like something i could put in my mag fed guns there you go thank you <laughs> so look right here and tell tell joseph thank you uh, i it, team head rush chad smith thank you like I, I run an A5, which is hard on paint anyways, there you um, go. and then all of our mag-fed guns, and anytime we're playing anything with our Tip-X, uh, a bolt action, and we're playing the winter. Um, and I wanted to go through a couple of leaves before it breaks. Yeah. Too, so so <laughs> let, we got to razz jo Joseph Mercado a little bit, because I actually hit him up a week after that really cold game. It was about 25, but it felt like 18 with the wind chill, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, get to. I hit him up and I told him, I was like, dude, I was like, Hey, had some fragility issues. He's like, Oh, uh, warm the paint up a little bit. Da, da, da. He's like, what degree are you playing in? I was like, well, I think it was about 18 when we started and it finished about, about 26 when the sun kind of came over and he's like, are you kidding me? He's like, I'm wrapped up in a blanket. He's like, no one's playing in that weather. I was like, Oh, we're playing out oh, here. Oh, here at Hobble. We're playing. <laughs> uh, it, it takes a lot for us not to be up here playing. Yeah. Um, it's gotta be raining ice. Exactly. And then, uh, cars. Yeah, no way. If I can get here, I'm playing. That's awesome. So one of the most interesting facts about Chad Smith, and this is something I know near and dear to his heart, but this is like, it mind boggles me because I've started and stopped many different projects over time. Hopefully this is not one of them, but I think I really want to talk to you about your YouTube channel. This thing to me, I have not found anyone more consistent than you on Appreciate entire that. YouTube Appreciate that. that uploads religiously like you do. Tell me a little bit about your channel and, and what it's about. Uh, uh, Chad Smith Paintball um, on YouTube. That's what you type in, Chad Smith Paintball. It'll have a picture of the Hobble Creek Mountain behind it. Yeah. Old school picture of me wearing an old school mask and the, nice. still the same A5 I use. Uh, but my channel is, um, I have about 10 GoPros. Didn't always start that way, but I place them on all of my players on That's my awesome. team. And then I put them around Hop Creek, the field itself, and then I compile the footage. Uh, what's driving me to do it is that since we play every week, there's always good footage. There you go. We play multiple games with respawns, so you're getting more action per game anyways. Right. So I'm going to get good footage. That's there's awesome. There's going to be something that happens. There's going to be... So week by week by week, I, I, and I, this is this is my religion. Paintball is my religion. Yep. I, I would rather be here. My alarm goes off at 530 on Saturday. I there stand up like a vampire. <laughs> okay. Go let the dog out. Get it right on it. Yeah. Um, that's a different vibe, huh? Waking up for work at five thirty. Yeah, no way. No You're way. like, no thanks. But paintball, oh, it's click. We're yeah, ready to I go. Yeah, if I even get up earlier than that, I'm already up for the day. Like I just, yeah. this is Christmas for me. That's um, awesome. And it dude. happens every week. And so, so one thing, one aspect about that, you said ten GoPros. That's crazy, right? You, some of the YouTubers that I follow and that really got me into the sport because that media platform is awesome now. That first person perspective. You have uh, gun cameras now. You have isolated cameras. You have ten cameras on the field. You don't miss anything, right? Uh, it barely, barely, rarely do I miss. If I there had a go. zoomable camera, that's my next goal. <laughs> Zoom cameras next. Um, to the point to where people, if you don't understand this and you haven't watched his videos, he has 
cameras on tripods in certain places next mm-hmm. to objectives you are not missing a flag cap you're not missing a flag run you've got three different angles of it at any given time that's that's insane to me that's dedication because once you leave saturday that was what three or four hours now you're what 15 20 hours of footage where it's just like uh, reliving your saturdays that's, if that's only if you only watch it once come on <laughs> <laughs> so uh so i'll break you down on my saturday so as soon okay. as i get done with paintball i go straight home let the dog out again um before I even take my gear off, I'm charging cameras, cleaning, and maintaining gear. I mean, I, I'm kind of poor. I have to maintain my stuff. Yeah. If we want to keep keep it good. We gotta make, maintain it. Yeah. Um, plug all the cameras in, clean my guns thoroughly. Nice. Then I clean most of my playing gear. Then I take a shower, and then I come back right right when they're done, camera by camera by camera by camera. There you go. Um, it, it's work, but dude, every every week there's some there's some magic. Um, yeah. A couple of weeks ago, one of our friends broke his ankle, and a because I had a camera up like in the base, yeah. I caught him running back and he just twisted his ankle pretty bad. He's got a pretty good uh, snapshot of that. <laughs> but they, there's little things like sure. I'll catch like the little kid and like a, a guy come and help the little kid out. And I'm like, man, that, that makes the whole Saturday right there. Yeah. And uh, that's kind of how I lay my videos out as I'll either be a full gameplay or highlight music video. But there's always an opening play. There's always a credits play. There's always a bonus play. That's awesome. And uh, it's, not always a, it's not always a kill or something. Sure. Sometimes it's, you know helping the chrono the, the little kid's gun or swapping them out. Um, yeah. But yeah, every and week, I, every week. And I think that's great content for someone that's looking like, oh, what to expect? Like you might see these uh, high-end YouTubers, I call them high-end, but the people that put all the gloss and the glitz and glamour and upload once a year or something, right? That might draw a perspective that's not very realistic. But I think with your video, I think it sets the stage perfectly for what to expect. And we were talking about that renter that comes out, right? Mm-hmm. So he comes out, or he grabs his buddies, and we've seen plenty of girls out here. Grab your girlfriend and yeah, come out here. Yeah, there's a girl playing right now. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. So you grab everyone, you come out and play. What place can you play at and get actual footage to where you can review that later on and be like, oh, that was us. We did that move. Like, yeah. that's insane to me. There's there's not even full businesses that are doing that. And here it is. It's almost provided out here in Hobble Creek. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it, it's, it's my, it's time. It, it is time. It takes a lot of time, but I, my heart is here. Yeah. So absolutely. And when I get home watching footage, like if I wasn't watching my footage, I'd be watching somebody else's paintball footage. Exactly. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Um, well, we, and spoiler alert, we partnered with these guys early on, uh, head rush as a team, Chad Smith specifically, and just, you. yeah, on the Red Creek side, just being able to access some of the, uh, dealership relationships that we have, we're like, Chad, we've got to get you connected to this because we believe in what you do out here and it's exciting. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, no. pr- I appreciate that. We've, we've always been on the same wavelength and I think that's what makes this thing so easy. And I knew Jordan when he was a little kid out here playing. <laughs> <laughs> we've been doing this a long Chad, time, but Chad I, has I, been doing it. Appreciate that. So it, I had a, I had a moment to myself when you said, Hey Jordan, your feet are wrong. Well, it was up at Red Creek and we were, we were doing your snap shoot drill. Yeah. Um, I don't do drills right prior to this. This is all guerrilla warfare for me. I you do know, drills. <laughs> he does drills. And it's a, it, for me, it's always like segue that call of duty mindset to be like, all right, let me go play and let me go see what I can actually do. And like, it's fun. It's competitive for me. I think a lot of people are like that, but that's a beautiful journey in paintball. Right? Exactly. There, that is, that is. And everybody's journey yeah. is unique, but I try to Show everybody that They're, these pro guys know some stuff too, and if you know a little bit exactly. of what they do, and then you know a little bit of the Call of Duty stuff, you're unstoppable. Yeah. So I we were up at Red Creek, and we were doing some snap shoot drills, and you know I'm not a drill guy. I, I kind of understand my stuff, but as soon as Chad's like, "Hey, Jordan, switch your feet. Uh, do this, do that," and I'm just like, "What?" And it's like, here I am, just gorilla, just out there, just trying to shoot. And I'm like, "Oh man, this makes sense." It's sports science. This makes a lot of sense. Dude, there's dude. sports science in paintball, and a lot of people. I mean, there's there's so much going on. There's the adrenaline. Sure. The first, it was so long ago that the first player experience for me, yeah, like I only experienced of refing games and watching the new guys and see and seeing how they tinker or they doing stuff here and there. Sure. And then an experienced person can not build bad habits because if it's working for you, it's working for you. Right. If you're slaying, if you're getting kills and scoring flags, then right. you know who's to say? I mean, I know a guy that runs with one hand on the gun and runs every game. There you go. So, <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, we, I know that I know that same guy too. Yeah, I think Mr. I, Job's I, out there dominating right now. Job, there's a shout out to you, Job, and I the rest of the Head Rush crew. Job's getting the shout out right now. There you go. That's awesome, and I think uh, I, I've learned so much from you guys and just your knowledge of the game, right? Knowledge of the sport, understanding of the sport. It's so funny. You guys aren't willy-nilly out here every week. It's like 
with a purpose, people are getting better. And like you guys almost have to turn it off a little bit for some of those new players to come on. And I think that's so exciting about this. Yeah. Um, like I said, I, I play with a bolt action. I'm hand feeding. I know. I'm hand feeding, feeding first strike rounds. Shout out to first strike rounds. Thank hey, you. Shout out first strike. Uh, hold on. Not a sponsor of the show yet. So uh, we're they're third party. So uh, first strike, we'd love to have a conversation with you if you enjoy this content because the he rounds enjoys are awesome. your rounds. The rounds are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so we hope you we hope you come back and uh, revisit. No, and that's awesome. I think uh, a, to see you hand feed that stuff, right? That's that's another level of magfed. Like that's not. I don't see that being done on YouTube content, and I feel like that stuff would go viral with the right promotion and the right interjection. You know, I, I'm I've got a so. One of the cool things for me is I have over a little over 300 subs right now. Mm -hmm. I maybe know 50, 60 of them. That's awesome. So people are subbing just because they like it. Yeah. And it, like, yeah, we don't have any uh, real outside big sponsors where um, everything's out of pocket and sure. everything is out of time and dedication. But the, thank you to the 300 plus people. There you go. Um, so I, it, it, that drives me to know that like there's somebody watching. And like my friend Sid, he, uh, he learned one of the spots on the field by watching one of the videos. That's the crawl crazy. on the river. That's <laughs> the cool. river crawl. <laughs> That's cool, man. See? And I think it applies so well out here. And, and you've done a great job covering other Red Creek fields. Like, we've had conversations. Oh, where... your field. Let's make a segue to Let's make a segue <laughs> to that field. You want to get good games in? There you go. So, I Hobble Creek is an amazing field. And it's my heart. Mm -hmm. But Jordan and Red Creek, that is the best field in Utah. Thank you. It's the most customizable field. It is. It's yours. Yeah. Up here, we have to gamble every day. There could be another group up here that doesn't want to play, so we switch in between. There could be the sure. airsoft tournament up here, um, but up where you're at, it's yep. you. No, I appreciate that. So I, I started. Uh, I, I grabbed my first gun and ran out to the dump of all places with three or four friends, and this was in high school. We thought we were cool. We had one case of paint. You are cool. That was way cool. Yeah. We ran out and uh, we'd break almost every other ball because the paint was shit. Yep. And uh, we'd play in this dump. And the reason why we play in the dump was because we could customize what we wanted. So we'd spend half the day building, half the day playing. And then what was heartbreaking to me is next Saturday we show up and it was all moved. It was all moved back, right? Oh. And it's the dump. We didn't own that. I'm sure we were exactly. trespassing, exactly. right? So when I go into player, uh, you know, make a field for the player by the player, it was like, oh, let's just make a sandbox, right? I think there was this last game where we were, I was like, hey, guys, move all these tires. Yeah, pre-game, like five minutes pre-game, we made an X in the field instead, yeah. like it fully custom. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Yeah. I think I, I, that's always one of our quote-unquote trade secrets or the, the value prop of coming out to Red Creek. It's like, oh, you're going to get a custom experience. And I, it's nothing against Hobble. I think Hobble has done its due diligence of breeding players. And I think what you've done with natural bunkers, I think that's one thing that we kind of miss. It's all natural. Yeah, hobbles 100%. There's no plywood. There's no tires. There's no nails. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's trees that have fallen over and dirt that's been pushed and shifted. Yeah. Um, rocks have been cleaned up and stacked in piles and dirt's been put over them to make a couple dirt mounds. But that's nothing awesome. has been cut down. Nothing's been sawed down. Nothing's been, you know, no nails, yeah. no screws, nothing uh, outside. And, yeah, it's all natural. But Red Creek, you got buildings. <laughs> <laughs> that... You got you, ha you had a tower the first season, which is... Oh, it was a Budweiser engineering uh, tower, but it was cool. And I, so that's actually one of my hints at next year. I was going to tell, I, I was going to ask you your uh, next year plans. And while you think of that, our next year plans is to build a second story tower legitimately, you know, framed out to code, uh, something that's going to stand for a long time. Um, that's our plan and our goal. I think, uh, I know you've got some big plans next year. I think, uh, I'm going to hint at it a little bit, but super game is a, oh. That's Super one of game. your staples in your calendar, right? Yeah. If I could only play paintball one time <laughs> a year, and I play every week, yeah. but if I could only play one time a year, it would be the Super Game experience. That's awesome. Um, it is three days of, and I'm not I'm not exaggerating, yeah. it's a thousand versus a thousand in um, the Redwood Forest up in Oregon, and for three days and one night battle, you have a night battle, you yep. have tanks driving around, um, it's it's insane. It's their seven main flag bases. It's whoever has the most flags at the end of the day. But it's a, it's a straight war. Yeah, it is war. Absolutely. It is chaos. There's millions of dollars in paint being shot. That's um, awesome. Super game. Who? You've been going for how long? How long uh, have you been going? Five or six years. Now. That's awesome. And um, I, I know you're kind of progressing towards a leadership role, quote unquote, general role. General role. Pretty, pretty uh, that's soon. been in the conversations here and there. Uh -huh. And uh, my, my time will be. And hopefully, not not this year, next year. I've got to get all my friends to go there and right. have just a good time. There you go. 
and then the next year it's work because there's no there's no fun time when I'm general. There you <laughs> Sorry, go. you're on my team. We're doing work, and everybody has assignments. So Utah, that's a great a great purpose. If you're not already coming out playing Hobble Creek religious like Chad is, you need to come out and get ready because I think that's an awesome way to go out and say, hey, this is us as Utah, and then be able to support a Utah general um, and get just get. Get get in that mindset of like, hey, this is a larger scale. This is a global scale it's, type game. It's, so a big game doesn't doesn't even constitute to it. Yeah, it is. It's war. That's insane. <laughs> you could whatever battle you want. You want to go fight in the city all day. Right. However much paint you can shoot. However many friends you can bring in there. Um, smoke grenades. Enola gay bombs. Yep. They okay. got it all. It is. It's going on. And there's tanks. You want to disappear into the the woods and go be a sniper yep. guess what there's a hundred other dudes out there trying to get you to <laughs> doing the same thing doing the uh, same thing yeah, uh, there's crazy. guys out there with the bow there's guys out there with the uh, dude last year yeah um last year they they postponed it and canceled but the year before that the mg100 wasn't even out yet mm-hmm. so yeah, like i can't true. even imagine that's, the craziness that's crazy. of next next yeah. super game is going to be a million first strikes everybody's going to have standoff range. Right. Um, if you got full auto, you're going to be able to go to the city, but if you're out in the forest, you're done. Yeah. You're done. <laughs> Absolutely. And I think that's something that I've been missing out as a paintball player, and I've always heard good things about you. The minute you told me, you're like, hey, I have scheduled this weekend off in advance for the next 20 years. Like, uh, for rest this of my is life. what I'm doing. The rest of my life. Yeah. You don't plan anything else. You'll miss a wedding, maybe. <laughs> I'm, have you missed somebody? I've missed some stuff. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I've missed get some stuff. Trouble. I almost quit my job. Yeah. Um, Super game is amazing. It's, there you go. I, I can't. It, Dan and the staff that put it on yeah. is uh, they're 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 hands down like some of the de- the best people. That's awesome. And their dude. organization, but that's that's out of state. Then that's once a year. Sure. Um, Red Creek happens more than once a year. Yeah. So and we we love you guys to support and I think we've definitely penciled that in. So when I when I go out and I make our schedule every year, I try to do it uh, right around this time, December, as you know, when Christmas ends and everything and the holidays are over. I uh, put a schedule out in January and try to appease to our our tournament player, our rec player number one, but also keep in mind with those big games going on. So so we do have a big schedule. You're, you're right. right. You're right yeah. on track. Um, I don't mean to cut you off, but no, you're good. You, you you have coordinated. So we have a uh, Caden Hanks. Mm-hmm. Um, they run uh, the Utah Woods Ball scene. Right. And Shout they, out, Caden. Caden. You're, you're going to be on a future podcast. You already know. <laughs> um, and what he's done is he's helped unite people outside of just like, because where I'm at, I'm here every week. So it's right. just word of mouth or what you see on YouTube. Um, barely anything on Instagram. But what he's doing is he's reached out and actually organized. And so what you've done is checked the big games, the out of states sure. with us. You've yep. checked um, any of the local speedball tournaments or X ball tournaments that are going mm-hmm. on. Um, you've checked with the big games that he's throwing and to coordinate, to make Red Creek work. And right. I think, I think it has. Yeah. I think it's slowly been getting better and better and better. I think so too. All the way down to, we had a semi-pro event up there. There you go. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. we did. And, uh, we, we had a lot of great support. Shout out to uh, Woods Cup number two. That was an awesome round event, especially with your guys' help. We had Head Rush out there refing games. I hope you guys are in a position to participate next year. Uh, right now, here is my promise. Let's go. Head Rush is playing. Oh, hold on. Look at the camera. What do you say? Woods that? Cup 3. And we're putting a fight out there. Let's go. I know there's other guys. There's other teams. There's uh, the Woods Cup's winners, number one. I forgot at who they were. Number two, Bro Army. They did pretty good. Yep. Um, number three, we're coming for that. Let's go. Uh, we got some guys. We know what we're doing. Like I said, we, we, yeah. we, did, we play pump. Yeah. But we got some sports science. I, mean, I got some killers on my team. That's awesome. Um, but refing, refing was a good, a good step for us. Yes. Um, there's some stuff that a lot of my younger players, because we've got some young kids on our team. Uh-huh. They there's some stuff that they need to see and watch and watch the tales of the other team to see the flows, like because they've been learning how I play. I play in the woods. I'll camo up. Sure. Um, I have a different style, I think, than most most players. And uh, if they're mimic, mimicking me, they need to kind of watch a little bit of speed ball, watch right. a little bit of other woods ball, uh, watch some army videos, go on a jog, watch some football, see some teamwork. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to say this now. Um if you guys enter the Woods Cup with a with a Fab 5, right? Like with a solid 5, you could probably even put two teams in with your guys' numbers. I think we're running deep enough. Yeah. I can almost promise a second squad. There's, I can promise one squad. <laughs> there is going to be a bounty on your heads because I feel like you guys were born in the woods. You guys were created yes, in the woods, that's man. That's what we do. We'll, and play, we'll play turf wars. We'll play exactly. turf wars, but Woods Ball is uh that's your bread and butter, man. Well, we wear camo. Yeah. I, um, there you go. <laughs> You've got some teams out there in what, red, black, and some fluorescence. Fluorescence. And and 
I get what you're doing, but, and I understand, yeah. but it, you know, there's many ways to skin a cat. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think outside the bun sometimes. That's awesome. Well, we, we hope to have your participation in Woods Cup. I know we will. Um, you'll be the, you'll be up there one way or yeah, another. Well, we, no matter what, we'll be up there. So mark that on your calendars. Uh, if Desert Edge, Bro Army, those are the people that have won it. You need to compete against Hobble, Hobble Creek now in the woods. That's a scary. Yeah, so uh, the first year I played with Desert Edge and yeah. helped them take the, take the number one that spot. That is right. Look yeah. at that. They owe you a little bit. Dan, Wait, are you listening? Daniel. Throw him a shilling. Flip him a, a tip. Uh, Daniel, if you are listening, Danny, <laughs> and anybody else, I need a Metadyne rocket launcher, Vortex rocket launcher there you for go. Super Game. Like that's, if I had one more piece of gear, that's what I need. You know, the only one I've ever seen in Utah is uh, was that Cadence? Cadence, yeah. Cadence, yeah. And that's the that's like the over shoulder one. I mean, if, I, if that's all I can get, I'll take that too. <laughs> um, but I need a launcher. Yeah. That's like the last on my list. I have a lot of cool. I mean, I'm playing playing a long time so i have a lot of little guns here's and there's um i yeah. still use my original a5 that's a perfect segue i was going to ask you what is your loadout what's your preferred loadout what do you play how do you play you've gotten a lot of compliments in the social medias that i don't even know you've gotten compliments with because i see it on facebook and youtube sometimes where i see people are like dude this guy plays different he plays with some different gear too so tell me a little bit about that okay um so first and foremost i use a dye mask it doesn't fog mm -hmm. uh and that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> um, everything else. Die I4, right? Die I4. And, and that's been like a staple of your, like, if you were to make a logo, I'm sure it would include like the Die I4 yeah, to and, some degree. Yeah, and it wasn't degree. always that. I wore um, JTs from when I first started. Sure. I, and then the Flex 8 came over. I was like, oh, could cover the top of my head when I'm crawling. Yeah. Um, but everything fogs. Yeah. Anything. I can fog any mask. I've had the Flexes. I've had the Flexes rolled all the way up. There you go. Um, Where you do the smoke in the front and play yep. the go whole game with the smoke in your mouth. Yep. Okay. Do That's, all that. What's that ag? Is they call uh, that OG? Double, double ag. Double ag. Okay. <laughs> Full points. Okay. But as uh, soon as I switched to the I-4, and I was late on the I-4 train. I was way late. Mm -hmm. But as soon as I switched, um, the game got more clear. I didn't have to worry about fog. Yep. Didn't. I could only worry about the game. The mask is so light, I don't have to worry about the mask. That's awesome. Lenses are anywhere. I can change them. I, I changed the lens, uh, lens in between each game over here. Shout out, Die. You should, yeah. you should uh, sponsor it too. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> Keep it moving. <laughs> um, what's what's the guns that you're wielding? Because you have some very specific. I got some good guns, but my uh -huh. absolute favorite is my Tipman A5. Okay. Tipman A5. I have a six-inch barrel. Mm -hmm. I have a, a Loudner cone on it. It's an amplifier. It makes it really yep. loud. Um, and we'll we'll cut to this in the video. You'll actually see this in the video. You're probably seeing it right now. But yeah, the Loudner cone, it does have a specific ring to it. You you know where Chad Smith is, or at least where that gun is, if it's in someone else's hands. Yeah. Um I it's the loudest gun I've ever heard in, yeah. in paintball in paintball. Um yeah. but it's trusty. Uh, it's a six inch barrel, no ports. Um I use a tap cap fifty round hopper. Nice. Once I put it on the gun, it's never to come off. Yep. Um I uh, have a ops, an old ops gear. Shout out to old ops gear. Yeah. Um, He's going to be on the podcast. Oh, really? Yeah, he will. He'll, he'll be on the podcast. Oh, man. Shout out to our connections to get that going. Mr. Dave, huh? Yeah, we're okay. going to we're gonna have some good paintball conversations. I appreciate that. Hey, you know what? Um, a lot of uh, where this woods ball journey has come is because they started making cool looking guns. Yeah. Paintball guns haven't always looked cool. And that's kind of what turned me off at the beginning is I was out there shooting the old tracer old crummy pump sure that you know and uh, everybody else is shooting their whatever angel ones and auto cockers and carnivores and everybody has the fastest guns in the world and as soon as the a5 came out i was yeah. like oh i'm getting mp5 yeah <laughs> so i got mine and uh i've used it almost every single week i guess i didn't take it to my last trip in oregon mm -hmm. um but i've used it almost every single week uh, it's trusty. It's trusty. Shoots right. every time. I can hand it to anybody and they can use it and get a kill. Yep. Um, it is also the heaviest gun on the field. <laughs> it's got a camera on it. Uh, it's all metal body. True, yeah. All all the obscure stuff's all metal. It is heavy. Yeah. And it's loud, but it shoots perfect for me. Yeah. And I, I, I can't I can't even see playing a game. Like I got an EMEC and they're like the lightest gun. Right. It is like night and day difference. And I guess that's one of my other battle rifles, I should say, in my battle rifle class. Uh huh. Um Emac is uh, my. F it's in my top five favorite. It's hard to beat, right? It's a uh, trusty, new age, reliable. It's it's when you play every week, you clean a lot of gear, and that mm. cuts into the editing time, like we were talking about. There you go. Like so, when I get home, like cleaning gear is not fun. Yeah. It's like a chore, but 
the EMEC is, uh, I undo the tank, I pull out the back, I look, make sure it's lubed up, put it right back in, check the barrel, go. it's done. I can check that Shout one off. Out Planet Eclipse. <laughs> they will see this. I think Planet Eclipse will see this. Um, That's awesome. My absolute second favorite gun of all time right now is uh, my Empire Tracer. Not a PMI Tracer, my Empire Tracer. And that's Listen my bolt that. action. It is um, the one I hand feed the first strikes or round ball into. That's crazy. Um, I can't wait to cut to a clip and show people what this looks like. Because uh, it was actually a gentleman down in St. George. I uh, used to play a lot, um, come up to Red Creek a couple times. But he commented, he's like, this is minimalistic paintball at its finest. This is lightweight FSR on your face from a distance. And you even carry the Tipman A5 at times, right? Yeah, I... So- that, tell me I, about that. Because sometimes I get caught dual wielding. <laughs> that is crazy, man. So we played in Moapa, and out yeah. at Moapa, you, you can't get caught in a machine gun war when it's 80 on 80. Right. Um, but if you don't have standoff range, if you don't have those first strikes when you're going out to the sand dunes, yes. like you're losing. So we started a game, and I was running out there, and my team's running. We're all we're running for the hills. Yeah. And as we get out there, I realized, I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm that guy that has two guns right now. Yeah, And then we got to the dirt hills. We killed the first butt batch of guys out there. I was like, oh, thank God I have two guns right now. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Because now you're long balling. If, if anyone's played Moapa, you understand that there is some difficult uh, it's, ranges. It's not just the range. There's wind out there. True. So you have, to, you have to extra fight the range. So that's True. what I'm saying. You have to have a regular battle rifle style gun yeah. because you have to burst fire if you're in any engagement. But then sometimes you get in that spot where you're like, dude, if I had that yeah. first strike right now, I could be reining in to 20 guys behind a wall. Sure. And that happens. <laughs> yeah. No, that's insane. I think uh, I think Moap is always fun to play. Shout out to Caden Hanks, who originally set up that Utah Woods Ball event. Yep. Um, St. George has been playing out there a lot. We actually have a game coming up in January. It is dun, 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 dun. Un- Yeah, it is undecided of what date specifically. I think we're looking at the third Saturday. Um, that is worth the trip, especially when Vegas pulls out 80 to 100 guys. Dude, and, they came out strong last year. Yeah. Was that they, last year they came out? That was last year, and we've done a little one since then where, where Utah didn't really show up because it wasn't advertised well. And they're like, hey, where's Utah? And we're like, oh, shoot. Like, yeah, we got to get on the board here because they showed up with 100 deep. Ready Again? to ball, yeah. And uh, I think that's going to be an awesome meeting ground over there. Shout out to those players that are, are watching us and following yeah, us. Yeah, hey, that was good battles last year. That was, a, like I said, that's a that's an epic. So yeah. playing woods ball or that type of paintball, we get to travel and go to exactly signature crazy fields, unique places. Mm-hmm. Um, so I I gotta I gotta give you a tidbit here. You didn't know anything about this. Camera doesn't know anything about this. Um, no one knows about this. Vegas is actually coming up for the next battle for the beehive in the spring. They are going to be leading their legion of players out there against Utah homegrown. And it is a true battle for the beehive because they could be taking away the battle for the beehive trophy that has been Utah homegrown. Shout out to the South team. That's been dominating for a while here. Um, I think we know some of those South guys though. Yeah. Yeah. And they do. They come to ball. They do come to ball. And uh, so, Utah's finally going to unite on a front against we Vegas. We haven't done that yet. We've been, no we've been, one has done that. We've been fighting each other, which is fun and gets yeah. intense. It does, yeah. This is going to be a whole other aspect, which is going to be great. And Red Creek can fit that many people True. players. So It's built for that. It's ready for that. Dude, you guys have the dream. You have... Yeah. Uh, and you have grenades. <laughs> <laughs> we do have grenades. Pyro is a thing out there. Um, it's something that is a ton of fun. We're going to cut real quick to replace the battery. What you- they're going to be fighting for that battle for the beehive trophy and um i think we need a good utah homegrown general i don't know if you're going to be interested in that i i do have some other candidates but i know you i know you like playing right so when i when i'm when i'm general it's it's a different aspect it's a different mindset i like right. to look at the chessboard. um i mean a head rush i don't want to shout out too much but we're raining kings in the in the cornfield <laughs> there you go yeah the cornfield shout out team bro army for putting that on for yeah. years field of screams well, i have some unique, great footage yep another unique uh game another unique utah field and another awesome team coming out of utah's utah bro army right um but uh yeah if i'm if i'm generally i'm gonna look at a clipboard i have like five or six walkie talkies on right. i have like two guns next to me but like if i'm if I'm playing, I'm playing. It, and sure. it depends on if I'm doing footage, too, because some days I do just media. Like, I'll play, right. like, one game and then just bounce to media. Um, and so we'll tease that right now. Maybe maybe we'll see that. We'll have some conversations about what you want to do and how you want to do it. Um, I've always been a big advocate of, like, if players want to play this, like, we need, to, we need to put them in a position to play. Because, yeah. like, that is a ton of fun. It doesn't happen very often. Uh, hopefully we can have a uh, recurring 
audience like that from Vegas, um, out of state? Yeah. So with recurring, it's all about player experience. True. Yeah. Tell player me about experience that. experience is every single thing. So to, to wrap up on all of Hobble Creek with Red Creek, um, my goals player experience is number one. If people come out here and they just get overshot or they feel like they've got cheated in any way, they're not going to want to keep coming out. They come out here and right. their gun's not working. They've invested all this time and money and effort. They got work off. They come out and show up. They have a bad time. Yeah. Guess what? We have two on twos again, not 15 on 15 like we do every Saturday right. here. So if, uh, you know, the Vegas guys come up and have a good player experience, right. then they're going to come back. That's good. And uh, in speaking with some of those player com- uh, players from Vegas, they uh, they have a kind of a mutual understanding as well. I think a lot of paintball players do in yeah. different markets. But man, they were so excited. Uh, they saw some of the footage. They've seen your videos. They've seen a lot of content from Red Creek, and they're like, "Oh, we got to attend. Like, we want to go be a part of that." So I think that's one thing that's really exciting, and I kind of broke the news on the podcast here that uh, that's one thing to look forward to. Battle for the Beehive's gonna be big. It's gonna be huge, it's man. It's gonna be big. I've, I'll be running half media that day. There you go. Uh, Absolutely. Um, so to kind of wrap this up, uh, we talked a little bit about Hobble Creek. We've talked about Head Rush. We've talked about your media and some of your goals. You know, where is 2021 going for you after a very crazy 2020? Uh, where's it headed for you in 21? Um, so a lot of local play, a lot of local practice. Mm-hmm. Um, I am going to get uh, a five-man squad for the, the Woods Cup. The Woods Cup. There you go. Okay. Count on that. But my biggest prep right now is to get as many of my – friends as i can to get up to super games there you go because like i said that's the that's the big that's the big finale mm-hmm. there's uh everybody that loves paintball just as much as me is up there and you know i'm at work i'm talking about paintball all day wherever i am right. thanksgiving dinner they, they're sick of hearing it <laughs> there you go <laughs> and Let's, i'm like how <laughs> yeah so i think that's a huge immersive experience and i think to support that obviously i don't think we're going to have a game in may to kind of just block that out yeah it's so gonna we be, can get to super it's going to be prep so yeah. save like I tell my guys, I'm like, look, two weeks before, just start two... saving your legs, because um, yeah. <laughs> it's a it's a big thing. It's war. It's, it's massive, straight war. Yeah. It's, it's a it's a drive to get out there. There's camping. Um, yeah. But with 2021, paintball, paintball today is better than it's ever been. I've been playing for 20 go. plus years. Yeah. Um, I've seen a lot come and go. Uh, the barrel made. That's that's almost. Yeah. The, the barrel made's my favorite upgrade in paintball in the last little bit. So in terms of technology, right? So yeah. tech, uh, most innovative, most uh, most advanced part of this. Because I think a lot of people are going to take that statement and be like, hold on. They were giving away cars on the beach when Dynasty was winning, you know, going on their Greenspan runs. That's the tournament side, yeah, right? Yeah, that's, well, that's tournament. But okay. oh, guess what? Every one of those guys carries a barrel made. True. Yeah, there you go. Not, they carry two or three because... Yeah. I mean, paintball is the name of the projectile that right. we're shooting. So if I could have one sponsor, it would be Vulcan. Yeah. And I tell my team that all the time. I'm like, look, if I could shoot, graf- if I could shoot graffiti every game, no there matter where I go, then we would. it wouldn't matter what gun I shot. There you go. Um, Maybe we make that happen, Rob. Can we make that happen? Uh, we do have a direct connect with uh, Vulcan. Maybe we can put a special <laughs> it, word in. Yeah. It's... Uh, yeah, having the paintballs work. I mean, because mm-hmm. back in the day, dude, it's whoever could buy the most paint or afford the most stuff. Yeah. And everybody's using CO2s or crummy pump guns. And, yeah. you know, it's, and the masks all sucked. Okay? True, yeah. And nobody shot left-handed. Like, yeah. So paintball today, in a lot of ways, abilities, skills, uh, availability. True. It's, it's up. Affordability. Affordability. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you could That's... buy a Chipman, an air tank, and a mask for under 200 bucks. Right. And be that ready to go for two years straight and learn how to play and learn everything you know. And if you play with the right people, you're not going to quit. There you go. Um, and then paint's always fresh these days. Nice. But the barrel made to me is huge. Um, the first strike round to me is huge. Exalt, first strike. The quick le- cha- the quick lens change system on any mask. Yeah. Is huge. You yeah, gotta it have is. that. Um, the GoPro that has been revolutionary for. Mm. Years and years, I've been like, you have just seen what I did last week. I yeah. snuck over these bushes. Oh, I did all this stuff. I made this best snipe. I did the best crawl. And everyone's like, oh, cool, man. Like, we get and it. You play I in the can, woods. But now it's like. Now I can show them. Live this. Go live this right and, now. And with um, learning how to edit myself, I'm like, now I can literally just say, right. look, this is literally what I did. Instead of telling people, I can just show them. Yeah. That's um, awesome. Um, I think kind of to wrap this up, Chad, is there anything that we miss? Any, any special shout outs we need? Yeah. Enola gay grenades. Okay. EG <laughs> so, right so, off the bat. So, uh, on my third favorite 
paint bog here that I use. Uh -huh. I, I, I can't. I threw three of the frag grenades in the last game just barely. And I think you got almost three outs. I knew you got two people out, For but sure. oh my gosh, like, yeah. and that's a it's, that's a game changer because game changer. I love I love the side of it where like the theatrics, the the atmosphere, the the immersiveness, right? When you hear those go off that is like a oh, wait a second what's going on over here yeah there's a, some psychological to it but if yeah. i feel like if i can't out snap shoot you and you duck <laughs> guess what now i can lob a grenade there yeah so eg67s uh those are kind of a red creek exclusive they haven't been around very much in utah you can't get them and last time i was able yeah. to get grenades was at super game and i bought the um the pineapple ones that have oh, yeah. in them yeah and i bought like 10 and then tried not to use them all at super game and then brought right. a couple back here i threw one at you on the ridge that yep. one time yep absolutely <laughs> I've, I've seen those come across i i made the mistake of uh suiting these guys up with what about 50 of them yeah. because we uh we paid our refs that way for woods cup we gave them a bunch of gear and everything and that was a lot of uh what we gave you so i kind of bite my teeth on the on the way back here i was like oh shit we're gonna have uh, a bunch of grenades work. coming over <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so check out his footage if you guys have any interest of uh you know s seeing those grenades in action you have a ton of footage of those grenades probably more yeah, than anyone uh, after today we're gonna have extra footage there you go there you <laughs> um, go well, thanks for having me on the, yeah. this is number one. This is podcast alpha po one, right? This podcast is number one. Um, it's exciting to kind of where this thing is going because I'm going to talk to a lot of Utah local players and seeing, uh, we're saying bye to people. People There's are just Rangers, wrapping up their games. Rangers out there. Um, we're going to see a lot of people on this podcast as we do the tour of Utah, right? And I'm sure you'll probably be back on it some portion. I appreciate it. Yeah, that would yeah. love to come back. I love hearing the theory. I think you could spend a whole podcast just on paintball theory that you guys should hear because I don't think a lot of people get to that in this sport. Maybe some just, of them are secrets. There you go. A couple <laughs> tidbits from uh, Chad Sometimes Smith Sometimes we're flying drones out here watching. You there you know? go. <laughs> there you go. So one thing I, I, I want our audience to know, and our audience is building and growing, and if you're watching this, thank you for tuning in this long. But um, obviously share the podcast, but also take a trip down – youtube with chad smith paintball because this man is going to show you a lot of cool ins and outs of hobble creek show you a lot of cool gameplay get you kind of acclimated for what snow paintball is a lot of people don't even understand My what that is time to play yeah <laughs> a lot of people don't even understand what this is it's favorite time so check him out let's get him some more subs just because i know we appreciate the 320 odd or 350 odd people that we view to but let's build that audience up even more because i think you have a lot to give to this paintball community and surrounding areas so it's just like let's strive for that share his content and move his content around um we'd love to just see those views and those subs keep coming so hey thank you uh shooters shooters only shoot yeah this was the shooters only podcast i had a brand at shooters only because i think this is a natural brand that will flow even if red creek changes or this changes or that changes i think shooters only will stay and remain and uh, i'll probably have to do a break off podcast to tell people exactly what that is but i think people understand like a day like today i drove through three accidents on the way on i-15 barreling down snow roads not clear but we had 20 people show up That's here to play magfed only testament to hobble creek paintball right there, you there. Go. and we have other guys driving all the way from lagoon area yeah like yeah an hour and a half from north there. ogden yeah exactly so i think uh, that is the shooters only mantra we'll get into that a little bit later but chad smith thank you for joining me today Appreciate on it. the very first podcast the shooters only podcast we uh, are excited to put this out and hopefully everyone enjoys check out his uh, youtube and we'll see you later thanks guys uh -huh.